Yo, what's up? Max here. We're hanging out here, a little vacation in Finland. And in this video, I want to talk about why you don't need to be a 10 out of 10 expert, nor do you need to be a marketing genius to get started as an online coach or online service provider. In fact, there's one thing you already have, I guarantee you, that can help you stand out from the massive crowd of online coaches, online service providers. So if you've ever thought about becoming your own boss as an online coach, you know, be free, make good money, be wealthy, but you don't know how to start and you might even think you're not good enough to start, pay attention right now because this video is for you. Let's get started. Have you ever wondered whether there's more to life than a boring dead end nine to five job? Have you ever dreamed about breaking free, you know, traveling the world, making good money and just enjoying life? No more office dress code, no morning commute, no boss. This channel is for you. So here's to your freedom. Okay, so in the beginning, I told you that you don't have to be a marketing genius. You don't have to have, you know, studied business or anything. Neither do you have to be a 10 out of 10 expert. You actually just have to have one thing, maybe even two that you already possess. And that is number one, authenticity. And number two, real life experience. That is really all that a potential client cares about. Now, let me show you this here real quick absolutely stunning absolutely amazing so i want to give you a little bit of an example in order to make it a little clearer to you and that is my first business as a dating coach and i'll never forget that when i started out you know i was only 22 23 years old and uh you know i kind of came onto the market as this new guy and there was this other guy a dear colleague and now very very close friend to mine julian and back then he was the new guy and he was the guy. He was the king of dating advice and he was the best of the best and he had years of experience in that field and he had toured the world by that time and you know I had started out and I started creating videos and I started getting my first clients and and I've always thought that I have to be even more perfect than Julian. I had to be even more you know, experienced in him. But of course, this was a race that I could never win because he was in the market for much longer. And really shout out to him. He was a great guy. He helped me a lot. He mentored me in a lot of things. And I had already started my brand as as a as a dating coach and I already started to to establish myself a little bit and I thought okay I have to be better and I have to be you know smarter and everything and I had to be more perfect than him than anybody else in order to actually get clients and I realized at some point that that was actually the exact opposite I needed to be and that exact point was a speech that I gave in Las Vegas I think two years in or so and until I gave that speech, I had this like, kind of like this image of, oh, Max is the happy guy. He's always in a good mood, 100% on point. His quote unquote advice about dating was super duper on point. It was perfect. It was 10 out of 10. It was flawless. And then I gave that speech and it was at a time where I was super burnt out and where I just thought like, I can no longer hold up that facade of being the happy Austrian guy all the time. So I gave a speech that was very honest, that was very transparent, where I talked about my fears, where I talked about my flaws. And it was a two and a half hour epic speech. And I actually was scared to put the recording of that speech out there on YouTube. And I literally thought this is gonna be my career ending speech. But nonetheless, I put it out because Julian advised me to do so. And I did put it out. And you know, I'll never, I'll never forget clicking publish on that video because I thought, you know, this is the end of your brand, Max, that's it. And I checked in 12 hours later and the response was overwhelming. It was completely different. People loved it. People resonated with it. And from then on, my brand started taking off and I would start getting more clients and, and, and higher quality clients, clients that would be willing to pay more money. And I didn't understand why. Until now, <laughs> until a couple of years later, I fully understood that concept. And that was the concept of authenticity. I understood that the end client, the very person that pays you money, cares far less about a degree, cares far less about you being perfect and knowing everything, but cares much more about relatability, about authenticity, and about real life experience. And that is all that the client at the end really cares about, right? Can that coach bring me real results? Does that coach really care about me? And can I relate to that coach? Because only if the client can relate to you, they can learn from you, all right? 
And before I'm gonna continue with all the other points, I wanna go a little bit more into detail here. I got some pretty cool for you. Uh, check out my Instagram account. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna link it somewhere here right now because uh, I I preach a lot about authenticity and I show a lot about authenticity and. And if you're not 100% sure how to picture that authenticity, you can check it out. This is something that I, many people always told me. They said, Max, I can relate to you. I got on board with your programs because you show a lot of authenticity. And then Instagram is a good platform for that. So definitely check out my Instagram. And also check out my other Instagram ac account. It's called the Freedom Business Mentoring Instagram account. Why? We're showing our most inspiring client stories on there that inspire you to take action as well. Most of our clients that are starting from complete scratch and building great businesses. We're also sharing daily value nuggets about businesses on there. Most importantly, on that Freedom Business Mentoring Instagram account, I'm also replying to DMs personally. It's a smaller account, so I can still do that. So definitely check out these two Instagram accounts. Instagram accounts, we're linking it somewhere here. Check them out. And um, yeah, let's talk about a degree. Most people start um, or thinking about uh, starting an, an online coaching business, online consulting business, and they say, oh, I get often asked, what about a degree? Do I have a degree? Do I have... XYZ of certificate. And it always kind of stuns them whenever they get asked about that because they don't know how big of an advantage they have if they don't have a degree. Obviously, if you have a degree in, in online coaching or in the respective field that you want to coach, that's great, all right? Don't throw it away or anything. But you don't need it at all. It's all a matter of, do you really care about the client? So something that I teach my clients, for example, that don't have a degree and they get asked about whether or not they have a degree or a certificate, I always say, look, say the following. You're not one of these people that spent years in a theoretical classroom, right? Studying the theoretical concepts. And now they've got the certificate that allows them to coach. No, you're a real life person, right? You're a real life person that has done it in real life, that has real applicable experience in the real world, which means you can already help someone, all right? The other point is, some people say, but Max, you have a big brand, right? And granted, some people buy from me because I have a big brand, right? But it's not necessary. In fact, many times it can even be stunning, okay? It's stunning your success when it comes to your first client, especially because look, oftentimes with people who have big brands, if you buy a program there, how many one-on-one -on -one FaceTime are you getting with that person? Probably not so much, right? And if you ma if I think back about my very, 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 very first clients as a dating coach, they got a lot more FaceTime with me personally because they were my first clients, right? And then later on, as I started scaling up, I hired very competent people. Granted, some of these people know, know the material better than I do, but you know, they're just not as known, right? So if you start your own personal uh, coaching business, it is actually a big advantage that you're not one of these like big fancy internet marketers that is just focused on, uh, you know, looking cool in front of a camera. No, you're a real person. And again, feel free to frame it that way when people ask you like, oh, but you don't have a big brand. You can say exactly. I do not have a big brand because I'm not a primarily internet marketer, right? I'm primarily a real person who's there to help you out, right? How amazing is that? I know exactly the problem that you have because I had it myself years ago and I know how I fixed it and I know how you can fix it, right? So if you, if you, if you see it from that standpoint, it's much, much better than someone who has a huge brand, right? Or for example, I get this a lot as well, especially when you're beginning, oh, but I don't have many clients yet, you know? And of course it's easier once you got your first client who's a raving fan of you because you, you were able to give them great, great results, you know? He might even refer you, that client might even write a testimonial. But if you have your first client, it might be more difficult for you, right? To sell your first client. Well, also here, well, you might be my first client, but that's actually a good point, Mr. Potential Client, because I will be much more dedicated to you, right? Someone who has zero clients is probably going to dedicate his entire daily life to you as a potential client than someone who already has 10 clients, right? And also something that especially beginners have a huge advantage of, and that is they can relate with their clients better. And this is something I never understood back then as a dating coach when I started with, you know, at the tender age in the beginning of my 20s, because I was sometimes coaching alongside my colleagues that were in the, in, you know, in the field already for like seven, eight, nine, 10, 12 years. And they would say, well, Max, you have a big advantage over me. And that is you can still relate. You know, you haven't been in there for so long. You can still relate to our clients' problems. You probably also <laughs> much more, how would you say, how much more patient with some of our clients. And that is also a huge advantage that you can have over the big players in the game, right? And on top of that, 
is also something that you got to realize. It is often the false perfectionism that keeps you from taking action, especially in the beginning. That false perfectionism in terms of, oh, I got to be perfect. Oh, I got to have the big brand. I got to have my my whole business structure figured out. I got to have my whole product figured out and I got to create this info product first. And in reality, you're just procrastinating. You're procrastinating because you're scared of stepping into visibility and procrastinating because you're scared of selling the first client because you don't realize that selling is one of the best things that you can do, okay? All the clients that I've had the honor of changing their lives are clients that I sold. Selling is nothing bad, my friend. And this is especially like this little flip, this little switch that people got to flip, especially when it comes to their first sale. Yo, selling is something good. You can seriously change somebody's life by selling. And you can only start selling if you don't adhere to perfectionism because you can't be perfect before you sell. All right, you got to get that experience in of selling. Ideally, you got to get that experience in and uh, you're being mentored by someone who can share their experiences with you so you can start taking action, right? And last but not least, video quality. I hear this a lot because, you know, you see some of my videos, you see some of my colleagues' videos and, you know, we have a professional videography team and it all looks cool and there's flashy music, etc. Yo, I'm recording this right now on my iPhone, all right? I ain't got no fancy cinematography team with me here it's literally just me and a couple of friends here hanging out and i'm just saying like hey let me record this video here real quick i'm not speaking perfectly right you have to you're watching me thinking you're you're watching me messing up every now and then and again i'm recording this on a goddamn iphone it's a little shaky but this is something that is just something that the, the technology has brought us over the last couple of years. Anybody can bring really amazing content to somebody. As long as you care, as long as you're dedicated, as long as you're willing to get somebody else results. And thus, as an online coach or online service provider, get results yourself, right? That's really, really key. So <laughs> I got to say some of the best converting video ads that you've probably seen are shot with an iPhone. That's a very, very wonderful thing nowadays. So I hope I could literally alleviate you from some of the fears when it comes to getting started as an online coach, as an online service provider, because it is possible. Some of my clients are getting great results and they have started from scratch. We're gonna show some random testimonials here. We're gonna sprinkle some in. These are people that have started from scratch. These are people that are now living a free life. They're soon gonna be able to quit their job or they have quit their job already. And there's just so little risk involved nowadays. And there's so much value to be given if you're someone who wants results, if you're someone who really thinks they can help other people, if you're someone who likes freedom and who likes being wealthy so they can travel the world and hang out here on a Thursday afternoon. I don't even know what time of the week it is. Anyways, if you say you're ready to get started as an online coach, as an online service provider, when you say you do want that freedom for yourself, I got something cool for you. You can literally jump on a free consultation call right now, either with me personally, or with an expert from my team. All you have to do is click that link in the description or the link that appears somewhere here right now. You click that link, brings you to a page, read what's on that page, fill out the application on the bottom of that page. And then on the bottom of that page, you can literally book the exact date and time where you want us to call you. That call is for free, okay? No international charges whatsoever. And on that call, we'll be basically going to be developing a step-by-step -step strategy for you. All right, breaking free from that nine to five hamster wheel, becoming your own boss and finally making it happen. It's actually a very, very simple structure and it's always customized to your specific needs. That's why you got to jump on a call first. That's why you can't just, you know, click on a button and, and read a PDF or something like that. You jump on a call with us and we'll get you started. All right. And uh, the cool thing is, if, you some, if you're somebody who already has a skill, you want to monetize it, that call is for you. If you're someone who uh, doesn't know quite yet what it is that they want to do, that call is for you as well. We can analyze your strengths. We can see what exact um, kind of model is the best for you. And also, if you're already making money, but you want to scale it up a notch, you want to do it properly, you want to have the pros help you create something bigger than you already have, this call is also for you. That being said, you got to take action though, okay? Whoever you are, you got to be someone who wants results. You got to be someone who's willing to, to put in a little bit of effort to really, really make it happen. No dabblers, <laughs> all right? Thank you so much for watching. Look at this beautiful view. This freedom can be yours, but you got to start. And the best way to start is right now, not tomorrow, not next week, 
because the slots for these free consulting calls usually fill up very, very fast. So if the link in the description still works, it means we still have a spot open for you. So take action. Maybe talk to you very, very soon. Let's get you started. Thank you so much for watching. Signing off and GG.